Hello all my fit friends, welcome back to Wow Body Now. We are doing a mat workout today that's gonna focus on our obliques and our bootay. So I hope you're ready. We're just gonna start with a quick warm up move. Go ahead and get on your forearm there. And I want you to really pick your hips up and the side of your body up away from the mat. And I want you to have a distance between your ears and your shoulders. So we don't wanna cave in like this. Push strong up and away. Your knees and your ankles are stacked. Go ahead and put that top hand right on top of your hip there. And we're just going to open and close the knee. In Pilates, this is called the clamshell. And we're gonna open up the glutes and your side here with this. So I want you actively pulling your belly button up and in, shoulders pulling back. And again, keep that distance here and here. All right, staying strong through that powerhouse. As you open up, really squeeze the glutes. There you go. And then you're automatically using those obliques to stay in really good posture and to maintain that distance between the mat and your side. Nice. Beautiful, give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're just gonna get set up on the other side. Now I have a whole list here of exercises that we're doing today. All right, shoulder tracking right over the wrist, right? Stacked in the knees and the ankles, push away, distance here, just lift and lower. So as you can see, we're not doing a ton of repeating. The only time we repeat an exercise is if we do it on one side and then we have to do it on the other. All the pink exercises are the glute focused exercises. All of the blue ones are the oblique focused exercises. So we're just gonna go through it. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna help strengthen and tone the glutes and the obliques. Now, if you're a person who really wants to see your obliques, then you know you're gonna have to actually shed body fat for that. So this workout combined with smart eating and making sure that you stay in your caloric need, don't go over it. If you need to shed fat, you actually have to be in a caloric deficit. So just remember that you have to kind of be aware of what you're eating if you wanna shed fat, right? You have to be smart about it. There you go. Give me 10. Squeezing the glute at the top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna start in a double hook position. I'm gonna go ahead and have my right leg, or it's your right leg, my left leg, in front, and it's in a hook position, and the back leg's in the hook position. Now go ahead, think about strong, good posture. Shoulders back, sitting up tall. Now keeping that length in your spine, hinge forward and rest your hands in front. This back leg is gonna be lifting. It's not gonna be a huge lift, but you're gonna feel it. Go up for 20, 19, 18. Feel the glutes working. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11 strong abs, long spine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it up. One, two, three, four. Oh, you feel it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here's the oblique exercise. Tuck the knee and the elbow. 19, 18, feel the crunch right here. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. The butt's still working. You feel that? It's the bonus exercise. You're getting both muscle groups. There you go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Just go ahead and stretch it over there. Oh, stretch. We're gonna go to the other side. So give me that double hook. Lengthen through the torso. Nice long spine. Keeping that long spine hinge forward. Support your weight there. 20 lifts here for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Keep that belly button pulled in. Nice. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Pulse it up for 20, 19, oh, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, don't disengage, reach and tuck for 20, 19, 18, 17, length through the spine, you got it. 14, crunch right here, crunch, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, oh, stretch it over, oh, that feels good, right? Alrighty, everybody, what do we got going on next? Whew. So, we are going to be on our side. Hips are resting on the floor there, and again, we're not caving back. You have this top leg, it's bent. Pick it up, flex your foot, take it all the ready to behind you. You're already feeling the glutes there, right? Already engaged. Push that heel back, back. There you go. Little pulse back a little push back six seven again I am NOT caving in distance between my ear and my shoulder distance between the side of my body and the mat my belly buttons pulled in there you go nice oh, I think we're probably done close to 20 here as I'm talking I'm sorry I lost track it's hard for me to talk and count at the same time I'm just not that good at it yet <laughs> how about 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 keeping your foot flexed right okay so we're gonna go into a full plank beginners you can keep the bottom knee bent and down if you want have your fist here that's gonna be your target I'm gonna work the obliques keep this elbow wide you're trying to get the elbow to your fist we're gonna do 10 of them so elbow to fist and then a slight lift up two two I'm not just bending my elbow right I'm actually twisting three and lift four and lift five and lift six and lift seven and lift eight and lift nine oh and lift ten and lift just hold it up there as high as you can push up from here hips go high beautiful let's go to the other side all right hips are resting on the floor distance between your inner shoulder distance between the body and the mat lift that leg up flex your foot keep it flexed already push it back Feel those glutes engaged. Now little pulses for 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22. Ooh, I burped. 21, 20, 19, 18. Feel the glutes engaged. Nice. 15. Touch your butt. Put your finger right on your butt. Feel it squeeze. Make it squeeze harder. I think we're on like 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, 
One, beautiful. Get into that side plank position. Have your fist there as your target. You can have the bottom knee down if you choose. Elbow wide. There you go. Elbow to knee. Make sure you're rotating. Little lift. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. I got this exercise right here from Athlean X. I love that channel over there. So you should check it out. I'll have the um, link in the description box below. There you go. Woo. And up. Fold and lift. Fold. Give me one more. Fold and lift. Beautiful. What are we on next? I'm so glad I have a list. <laughs> We're going to do a plank leg extension. So this is getting your core as well as your glutes. I want you to remember that if it ever gets to be too much, you can go to your knee. All right. Try to do it from plank if you can. And I'm going to be doing it in a high plank. So shoulders tracking right over the wrists. Pull those shoulders down and back. And we're just going to alternate lifting our legs nice and straight. Heel to the ceiling. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice strong body line. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. How about ten more? Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, roll over onto your back. We're going to do a reaching oblique crunch. So, your hands are going to reach to the outside of the opposite knee. And as you're doing that, you're really trying to lift both your shoulders off the mat to really crunch. And then that rotation across the body is what is targeting those obliques. All right, here we go. One, two, really reach. Four, five, my chin is tucked slightly but not totally caved into my chest. There you go. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 pulses right here, 20, 19, get your shoulder blades off the mat, 16, 15, reach past that knee, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, you got it. Six, five, four, reach, two, one other side. I'll try to count loud so you can hear me. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Shoulders off the mat. 14, 13, 12, 11. Reach past that knee. Go nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Oh, that feels good on those obliques. Back to a booty exercise. We are going to be doing a shoulder bridge hip thrust. I love these so you can stay on your back. I want you to think about wiggling your toes and really directing energy through your heels. Up through the heels, the hamstrings, and then the glutes. I want you to concentrate on getting a full hip extension. What does that mean? That means you're locking out the hips. If you only go to here, you're not getting really full glute activation. Every rep, I want full hip extension. Up high, really squeeze the glutes. You got it? Here we go. We're actually, start there. Are you there? We're just going down an inch and up to maintain that glute activation. We're not going all the way down. All right, down an inch and up. 29, 28. Squeeze those glutes. You got it. 25. 24, 23, 22, 
21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, come on, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, squeeze those glutes, 9 abs in, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we're going to have some fun here, hold for 3, 2, 1, just down an inch, hold the contraction, just down an inch, up and hold, 3, 2, 1, down an inch, up and hold, 3, 2, 1, down an inch, up and hold, 3, 2, 1, down an inch, oh, you feel it, up and hold, 3, 2, 1, down an inch, put your fingers right there on your booty, up and hold, feel how strong they are, down an inch, Whew. up and hold, make them really tight, down an inch, one more, up and hold, 3, 2, 1, down an inch, all the way down, just hug those knees in, give a little stretch there, a little relief there, it is so humid here, I am so slippery right now, <laughs> Oh, let me, let me peek. What are we going to do next? We are going to do Russian twists, I do believe. Yes. So, go ahead. Roll. Rock and roll yourself up. Dig your heels into the mat. Keep your back nice and flat and lean back. Now, maybe you're going to stay here with your feet down. Maybe you're going to lift your feet up. Take your elbows wide and twist. Side to side. There you go. If it ever gets to be too much, put those feet back down. Nice. Twisting motion works the obliques. You guys know that. Keep it up. You got it. We are just going for it. We're just having some fun. I'm going to check out the next exercise. You keep twisting. I do believe it's another version of those shoulder bridge hip thrusts. There you go. But we're going to use one of our legs for added resistance to make it a little bit more challenging. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, come on, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, lay all the way back down. Cross one of your legs over the other. It doesn't matter which one you cross because we're going to do both sides, so don't even worry about it. So this leg that's on top is now acting as added resistance. It's going to make it a little bit heavier and harder of a lift. So drive, wiggle your toes, drive energy through your heel, push all the way up. Give me that full extension. Down an inch and up, down an inch and up, down an inch and up, down an inch and up. Five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Squeeze those glutes. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Static hold. Just hold it up there. Squeeze. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, all the way down. So that leg that was working, that's going to be the side that's facing the mat, okay? We are going to do, whew, oh no, just kidding. We're not going to go to the side plank. I thought we were, we're not. That's why we have a list, right, Ed? Okay, we're going to do a screwdriver. So, legs come up. If you're feeling less flexible, oh, I'm a little bit stiff back there. I'm going to have my knees a little bit more bent. You're going to lift your hips, and then you're going to drop them, twist them and drop them to one hand and then the other. So take your hands wide next to you, not right close next to you, wide, and maybe on the outside of the mat. Pick it up, drop it towards one hand, pick it up, drop it towards the other hand. There you go. Pick up those hips, and then drop it from hand to hand. Nice. Lift and twist. Lift and twist. Lift and twist. You got it. Woo! I love this one because not only obliques, but your rectus abdominal muscles too. Lift and twist. Lift and twist. Lift and twist. 
almost there. Come on. You got it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, whoo, four, oh my goodness, three, two, and one. All right, other leg, you're gonna cross, right? If you have really bony ankles, you probably want the ankle on the outside. I have to move my ankle to the outside. Give me that full hip extension. Give me 20, 19, 18, keep going, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, squeeze those glutes. There you go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up there, 10, nine, full hip extension, press, squeeze those glutes, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down, hug it in. We're gonna do windshield wipers next. You can have legs mostly straight, or you can have legs bent. And you're going to keep your shoulders in the mat. Okay, shoulders stay tucked in the mat. Keep that belly button pulling down and in. I'll show you bent leg first, side to side. Now you know why it's called the windshield wiper. Now if you want more of a challenge, and you're probably gonna go slower here, legs are long. Keep those shoulders in the mat. Obliques are controlling this motion. You got it. Keep it up. Oh, it feels so good, doesn't it? I love a good challenging exercise. You're gonna feel so great at the end of this workout. So keep it up. Almost there. Over and over. This one is not one that we're gonna speed up or rush. Take your time with it. Feel that eccentric movement, right? That slow motion movement. Whew. Just give me a few more. Over and over. One more each direction. Over and over. Beautiful. Let me see what's next. Here we go. We're gonna do frog pumps, one of my favorite booty exercises that you can do anywhere. Oh, I like to often do this with a band, so if you have a band and you wanna pop it on, you're more than welcome to. Knees are wide, feet, soles of feet together, heels together, hands resting in the mat there. Some people like to actually have their fists up and really drive their elbows down and in. So whatever feels good, I'll probably end up there. Pick it up, and we're just gonna do little pulses. Again, find that full hip extension, then you're just going down an inch and up. There you go. Oh yeah, getting a really great burn there. Down and up, down and up. Perfect, keep it going. Hopefully you're feeling it mostly in those glutes. Hang in there with me. <sighs> keep it up, keep it up. We're just gonna go So I feel like really challenged. Sound like a plan? All right, so hang in there with me. I'm already starting to shake a little bit. Glutes are getting shaky. Oh, I love it. Come on. Abs are still strong. Relax your face. Relax your arms. Focus all the tension in the glutes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it up there for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Give me 5 pumps. 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Give me pumps for 5, 4, 3, 2, hold for 5, 4, Three, two, one, last five pumps. Five, four, three, two, one, all the way down. Oh, hug it 
And that feels good. Oh! Little relief here, little stretch. Ankle taps are next, everybody. Feet flat, maybe a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Palms up. We're gonna take our pinkies to our ankles, getting a little side bend there. Already, let's keep those abdominals engaged. Tuck your chin slightly as you lift your shoulders off the mat. Try to keep your shoulders off the mat if you can. Go side to side. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Let's see what's next. I do believe we are going to go to our quadruped position. That just means hands and knees. So, when you're on your hands and knees, you want your shoulders tracking right over your wrists, your hips tracking right over your, sh um, your knees, and then you want to avoid an arch this way or that way. Tuck your tailbone under slightly, pull your shoulders back, nice neutral spine, right? And what are we gonna do? We're gonna do fire hydrants. So from this position, I like to go ahead and drop. This leg's gonna be moving, so I like to drop the opposite elbow down. That helps me kind of keep my balance and counteract. So, you ready? You're gonna lift up and down. So this is working the outside of your glutes. Your glute medius and minimus to help you get a full round shape in your bottom. And that's a beautiful thing. So lift and lower. Make sure you're breathing. Kind of relax that face again. The upper body's working to kind of hold your weight, but you want most of that energy going into the outside of your glutes. There you go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Beautiful. We're going to play with the rhythm. Up and hold. One, two, and down. Up and hold. One, two, and down. Up and hold, one, two, and down. Up and hold, one, two, and down. Up and hold, one, two, and give me pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it for 10, 9, oh my goodness, 8, 7, 6, Five. You feel it on the other glute too. It's contracted too. Oh, bring it all the way down. Sit back, kind of release, release. All right, so come back up onto your full quadruped position. We are going to get into that fire hydrant position again, but we're going to keep this hand firm. And then reach the other hand, elbow to knee, extend. Elbow to knee, extend. Here's that oblique work. Three four, five, six, seven, crunch at eight, nine, you got it, ten, give me ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, same thing, other side. So get into that quadruped position. This leg is gonna be working, so the opposite elbow's coming down, elbows up, or belly button up and, in, up and in. Here we go, lift and lower. There you go, maintain strong through your core. Nice neutral spine throughout this movement. Oh, this side's going to feel harder because this, even though the other leg is just still, you can still feel the glutes activating on that side too as you lift, right? Oh my goodness. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. You got it. Come on. Give me five. Four. 
three, two, two counts at the top. Up and hold, one, two, and down. Up and hold, one, two, and down. Up and hold, one, two, give me two more. Up and hold, one, two, and down. Up and hold, one, two, now pulse it, ten, nine, eight, oh my goodness, seven, six, five, four, oh my goodness, three, two, one, oh, that hurts, that burns, okay, all right, get up there strong, have it bent, ready, elbow to knee, and back, oh, balance, 19, Woo. 18, there we go, 17, crush those obliques, 16, 15, 14, extend and bend, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, crunch, 6, 5, 4, 3, I'm going to be so glad when this is done too, one, extend, bring it down, sit back in your child's pose, stretch, 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 oh my goodness, we're almost there guys, almost there, so we're going to take it to a slightly more challenging version of what we just did, it's going to be harder, we're going to do less reps, but it's still going to kill, but that's a good thing. <laughs> We want to challenge. We want to get that muscle burn. That's how you know you're at a good intensity to change your body. When it's burning and you keep going, when you want to stop, that's where you want to be. So, this leg's going to be working. I'm going to bring it to this forearm. Now, take this leg out straight. If you're not feeling as flexible, maybe it's bent a little bit, maybe it can't be up that high, but try to pull it up and you're already going to feel your obliques working too, so that's another bonus of this. Now flex your foot, lift and lower, lift and lower. Give me 10. And now we're on four, three, two, hold, four, three, two, and down, four, three, two, down, four, three, two, down, four, three, two, down, four, three, two, down and up, two, three, four, up, four, three, two, and down, four, three, two, oh my goodness, down, four, three, two, down, four, three, two, down, oh, bring it in, stretch it one way, stretch it the other way, okay, we're going to take that leg that was working, we're going to be in a plank position, and we're going to stay in this leg to this opposite elbow from our plank position. So, you're just going to give me 10 of them. Ooh, I was arching there. Keep a neutral spine, people. Here we go. This leg for 10. Get it all the way to the elbow. 9, 8, 7. Stay strong. 6. I want it all the way to that elbow. Don't cheat. Four, three, two, you're gonna hold it, crunch. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, we're gonna go to the other side. I know you're looking forward to it. This leg is moving. Bring the opposite forearm down. Bring it out. Nice and long, flex your foot. Lift for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, up four, three, two, and down, up four, three, two, and down, up four, three, two, and down, up four, three, give me five lowers lifts for five, four, three, Two, oh my goodness, up four, three, two, and down, up four, three, two, and down, up four, three, two, one more, up, oh, it's shaking, and down, oh, take your hands over one way, 
hands on, over the other way, hips the opposite direction. All right, this leg was working, so this leg is going over to the opposite hand. All right, this knee to the opposite elbow. Let me readjust, here we go. 10, nine, get that knee all the way to the elbow. Seven, six, five, come on. Four, three, two, hold for five, four, three, oh my goodness, two, one, okay. We are almost there, everybody. We are going to be doing some donkey kicks now. We only have four more exercises. Are you with me? I know you are. So, go down into your forearms. Flex that foot. Bring it up, knee down. Two, three. Squeeze those glutes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, give me 10 pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 10 more, go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, just hold it up there, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, this leg that was stationary is gonna be the leg on the bottom. You we're just gonna do hip dips. Not a ton of them, just 10 of them. And I really want you going down and all the way up, squeezing through those obliques. Forearm down, elbow up, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, reach it up. Six, five, four, three, Two, hold it up there. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. We're gonna go to the other side, everybody. Okay, donkey kicks. Get on your forearms there. Don't arch your back. Don't round your back. Give me a nice neutral spine. Tailbone tucked under, abs in. Flex your foot. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, give me 20 pulses, 20, 19, 18, squeeze those glutes. You got it. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll over to your side. Give me 10 beautiful hip dips. Ready? Down all the way up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bring it down. Two more exercises, that's it. Now we are gonna do prone froggers. Prone means face down. So, rest your forearms, and I'm, I want you to hear me. So right now, I just want you to listen to me as you rest your forehead on your forearms. Just relax your head and neck. You're resting your forehead on your forearms, right? 
Now take your knees wide, the width of the mat, and soles of your feet together. Knees are bent so your feet are in the air. You can lift up your head and peek if you want to know what it looks like. It looks like that, right? Okay, head back down. Relax your head and neck. You are going to squeeze your glutes to lift your knees and your thighs off the mat. Are you ready? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, give me 10 more, go, 10, 9, 8, squeeze those glutes, 7, lift those knees and thighs, 5, 4, 3, 2, can you just hold it up there, hold it up there, squeeze those glutes, keep those knees off the mat, for 5, 4, 3, woo, 2, one, lower it down. Oh, release it all. One more exercise, and this is going to be for your back and your obliques. I am so sweaty. It is so humid out here. Okay. I want you to go ahead and give me that Superman position. So, arms are long and the width of the mat. Feet are pointed. Legs are the width of the mat. We're going to reach behind and take opposite hand to foot like that, right? There you go. Switching sides. Nice. Getting the lats into it too. Come on. Just a few more. You can do this, right? Oh, for sure. If you want it more challenging, keep those legs, those feet and hands off the mat. That's the next level. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. Come on, we're almost there. Almost there. Keep it going. Don't give up. This is the last exercise. How about six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, everybody. You might be feeling it a little bit in your back there. Oh, around your back like an angry cat. Just release that tension. Oh, go ahead and sit down. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I want you right back here tomorrow for another awesome workout. Until then, always remember, no excuses, no regret. Just sweat. Bye!